It has been around for more than a century and now neighbors are getting their first chance to weigh in on the redevelopment of the historic Loretto Heights campus. The developer bought the property last year and so far they've kept quiet about just what they're going to do with it. Denver 7's Jessica Porter joins us live tonight. Jessica, you were at tonight's meeting. You heard many people concerned about the growth coming to that southwest Denver neighborhood. Over 200 people attended tonight's meeting, many of them worried about changes to this former Catholic high school, particularly historic parts like the beautiful red brick tower behind me. They're worried about retail, housing and other construction. The developer didn't say much at the meeting. Instead, he just listened. Oh, a lot of history. These are sacred grounds. Sister Lydia Pena has more history here than most. She was first a student, a nun, and a professor here. We work for justice and act for peace. That is our Loretto tradition. And I want this place to continue as a place that works for justice for all peoples. Last year, all 76 acres were purchased by Westside Development. Residents are worried the former Catholic school will be another victim of gentrification. I don't really want to see more high density apartments or retail along Federal there because we get so much traffic from 285 on the Federal. Traffic's just a nightmare as it is. Some want it turned into a park while others want more progress. In addition to the ha maybe have the low income housing be um, mixed. In other words, you know, have a million dollar penthouse, but then also have lower income housing units and different price points mixed in. So what does the developer want? That that is the million dollar question, you know, that everybody's asking. We don't know yet. Westside Development says it's listening. Company leaders are promising not to touch the tower or the cemetery where 62 nuns who taught at the school are buried. Don't worry about the tower and definitely don't worry about the cemetery. There's nothing really cool and special about Southwest Denver. And I think we have an opportunity to take these 70 acres and make it absolutely amazing. Organizers with the city of Denver promise to take all of those ideas from residents and take those recommendations and concerns and include them in the final plan. Reporting live from Southwest Denver, Jessica Porter, Denver.